All right, where to start? So, in 2022, me and my family moved out of the city environment because we couldn't take it anymore. We moved to a nice area, a non-city area. And when we picked the house and location, I remember picking a room and thinking I was going to build my ultimate, I don't want to call it a man cave, but... Yeah, so room for me that I loved to be in. So I got posters and I got a sound system. I got a TV, Xbox Series X, you know, furniture. I got all this stuff to make my room exactly how I wanted it. And I've had one problem. My television is preventing me from completely enjoying my room. Now I'm going to go over all the details in this video here. Alright, it started when I ordered this QN85B television. At the time, it was a $4,000 TV. I bought it on Black Friday. It was slashed down to $2,500. But, the moment I clicked purchase on that TV, I started feeling ridiculous anxiety. And I started having these thoughts like, I'm going to... Get this thing delivered, this huge 120-pound box. I'm going to open it and go through this whole process, and the screen's going to be cracked. I spent an hour unboxing, and I got it set up. And I calibrated, and I do all these settings, and I follow YouTube advice on, you know, color and brightness and all this. And after about two hours of that, I finally sit down and enjoy my TV. I play a couple games of Rocket League, and then I go to... Watch a movie. J.J. Abrams, 2009 Star Trek. I was planning on watching all three. But as I'm watching the movie, I notice this purple circle appear at the bottom. It's just suddenly there. I just suddenly notice it. It definitely wasn't there when I turned the TV on and was calibrating and stuff. Or when I was playing Rock League. So... I call Samsung, I'm pissed as hell. I had my room ready to go, it was everything I wanted. And the damn TV had dead pixels within five hours of turning it on. So, they send a guy and his assistant to replace the screen. They show up, they take my TV apart, and they switch out the screen. They go into the truck, they pull out this brand new screen, they connect it to my TV... And they put my TV back together, and they put it back up. I didn't have to do anything. It was great. And then they leave. I sit down in my chair. I look at my TV, and it is crooked sideways, leaning to the right. So the right side is down. The left side is up. I call this dude who came, and I call him. I'm like, dude, my TV is crooked. You need to get back here. Something is wrong. He comes back, he pulls out a leveler, and puts it on my table where the TV is sitting and says, you know, that the, the, that the table, that the entertainment center is unleveled. And that's why the, I'm like, no, this TV was perfectly level when I was using it before you guys took it down. And he insists that something's wrong with my entertainment center and blah, blah. So he leaves. So I start trying to figure out why this damn thing is crooked. I'm looking behind it, and I notice on the rear left side, there's a space between, uh, like, there's no space on the right side. But on the left side, if you look where the screws are, there's a space there. There's a gap. It's not quite put in right. And I'm like, this dude didn't put my TV back together correctly, and just left and like I was pissed again like I, I didn't want to deal with any of this stuff and it's now become a headache again because he's left here and left me with this crooked tv so I moved it out away from the wall and I notice one of the screws is just loosely in there and it it won't grip it won't tighten it just turns and turns and turns so I managed to put some cardboard under it I balanced it out I had it right but I was still worried that Something was off, so I call Samsung. 
I tell him there's this he didn't put my TV back together. There it's now making popping noises because there were now popping electrical sounds all of a sudden. And there, there's a screw loose. It's not he didn't put it back together all the way. So they set up a ticket. He comes back three months later and you know he takes the TV down, takes it apart, finds that there's a wire blocking the screw hole. When he put it back together the first time, there was a wire in the way, so the screw couldn't go into position, and so he fixes that. But it's not sitting right on my entertainment center. I removed all the cardboard. I checked the back. It's all screwed in tight, everything, but the TV's still crooked at this point. So I had to put the cardboard back to keep it perfectly level. You know, a couple weeks go by, and I'm like, enjoying my TV. I'm, I'm loving it. And all of a sudden, I notice this small spot in the middle i get up i get my microfiber cloth i wet it a tiny bit i'm rubbing the spot nothing is happening it is still there and i notice the spot is the same color as the dead pixels that were in the bottom right corner but this is super tiny little spot it's not a dead pixel and i start thinking like how did this happen i'm i remember when he came that second time the first time he was real careful not to put the screen that the new screen that he's putting on, make it sure that did not go face down on the carpet. He was real careful. But when he came to fix my TV the second time, he was by himself. He needed me to help him pull the TV down. And he put it face down on my carpet. And I think that's what damaged the little spot in the center. So yeah, I call a third time, file a third ticket with Samsung. And they get back to me and they're like, well, sir, since this is an ongoing problem with the TV, we're just going to send you a brand new TV. And I say, oh, oh, hold on, I'm not, I would prefer they just come and switch the screen because I am not putting up a new TV. I'm not opening a box. I'm not taking this one down. I'm not going through that again. And they're like, don't worry, sir. We, they'll come out. They'll take your TV down. They'll put your new one up for you. And I'm like, oh, great, perfect. So I agree to it. About a week goes by. I start getting, I get a call to confirm. They're like, yeah. The TV's going to be delivered in about four days. We're confirming the address. And I'm like, yes, this, this, that. And then I asked them to confirm that they were going to put it together and take the old one. And this woman tells me, no, these are just delivery guys. They're expecting my TV to be ready for pickup. And then they're going to drop the new one and I'm going to have to put it together. So I canceled it. And I figured I could, I could put up with this spot. It's so tiny and it rarely ever stands out. So months go by and once in a while the spot stands out when it's like on somebody's forehead or something in the movie. And I'm like, oh shit, there's that spot. And then I'm I'm pulled out of the movie. I'm, I lose my relaxed state thinking about how much damn money I spent and all these headaches because of this dude that didn't do his job right the first time. I start to realize the warranty is about to run out. The stain is going to continue bothering me. I was planning on, you know, my last TV lasted me 10 years, which was a Samsung as well. And I'm thinking, I don't want to spend 10 years looking at this stain, constantly being reminded of this. So I decided to, maybe I will take that TV. And I set up a fourth appointment. They sent the same dude a third time to my house. He comes in, he... You know, he does his usual thing, he acknowledges the stain, and he asked me to reset the circuit breaker. I'm like, well, why can't we just unplug the TV, I'm thinking to myself. But then I realized I got computers and a bunch of consoles and sound bars all plugged into the TV. Maybe I just got to reset all of that, and he wants to do it quickly. You know, I go to the back of the house, I flip the circuit breaker, flip it back on. I come back to the room, and he looks at the stain, he points at it, he goes, anything else? Looks around, and then he points out this scratch on the right side. And I'm like, oh, whoa, what? I look at it, and I immediately picture my daughter or one of her friends smacking the TV with a Nintendo controller by accident. This is what I'm picturing in my head, because it just looks like something came down hard on the TV. It's a scratch in it. But at the same time, the screen's about to be replaced, so what's an extra piece of damage to it anyway so he takes a picture of that he takes a picture of the stain in the middle and then he says I'll, he'll get back to me monday 
but I waited a whole week. And on the 20th, I called Samsung. And I'm going to play that phone call now. Hi, uh, thank you for calling Samsung Technical Support. This is Chris. I can see that you're trying to update a ticket and number. Is it um, correct? I just wanted to get an update on the situation because I haven't heard from Samsung in over a week now. Okay. Based on the ticket number that I can see, um, it's showing here that the ticket a repair ticket is already closed already. Um, it's closed? Yes, went out to the customs house. One second, yes. Okay. Yes, and based on the notes from the authorized repair technician that was assigned, they verified that there's a physical damage on the television, sir, meaning it will not cover the... Uh, it will not cover the warranty, sir, if there's any physical damage in the TV. If I not also, sir, uh, when the technician came out to your area, did they provide you any um, information about uh, what they have found out on the television? So, it's really interesting because when he came here, I never saw the damage, right? There's a, there's a scratch on the right side. Yeah. I never saw that until he pointed it out. He was here because there's a mark at the center of my TV. It's a purple stain, like, behind my yeah. screen. It's not damage. So I'm wondering if he huh. might have put this little scratch on my TV. I, I got conspiracy theory problems, so. <laughs> but. I'm sorry. Let me see what I can do here. One second here, sir. Okay. Yes, because actually, um, I can see here in the notes, a uh, purple spot. On the TV is found by the technician. They have confirmed it as well. Then a scratch on the panel, which customer did not notice. So confirm the physical damage that will not cover uh, the warranty. Okay. Uh, that's actually what uh, showing is a note, sir. So that was the call I made to check on the status of that delivery that I thought was coming. And it turns out the scratch voided my warranty. And the moment she said that, I realized he scratched my TV. At this point, I remembered I had set up a hidden camera. Been a week, I hadn't looked at the camera because I didn't think there was any problems. I thought I was getting my screen replaced. As I get the camera out, my heart starts pounding. I'm terrified that the video is not going to show what happened. Either the camera messed up and it didn't record or uh, the camera angles off and didn't catch it, or he did it when the lights went out, and can't see it, and I'm thinking all these things as I'm getting the camera hooked up to my computer to look at it, and yeah, uh, I caught something pretty shocking, uh, I'll just play that video. Oh, you changed the uh, the sofa goes to the uh, that side a little bit. Yeah, this is the finished product, pretty much. Good, well, I moved good. some things out of the way. But good, awesome, awesome. Uh -huh. So, which spot is it? This one yeah. right there? Okay. It's been there since March. I don't since know what March. happened. Since Just, March. Yeah, you were here probably a few weeks before. There was a, uh, remember the wire was in the way of the screw hole? Uh huh, uh huh. So you had to take it apart again, but it was fine. And then I just noticed that, and I was like, what is that? I tried right after it off. Or work, like, couple nah, a couple of weeks. But, uh, well, I don't, yeah, I noticed it a couple of weeks after. But. Okay. Sir, uh, what is the on the breaker? The what? The, on the, um, the actual breaker for the um, this ribbon. I just want to reset oh. everything in the power. Yeah. Um, it's in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen. How far is it?
It's not turned off yet. Still turned on. So you only can see that spot on the when it gets to white, right? When it gets and white. Blue. Blue. It, it stands out once in a while when I'm watching movies. And Even on the movies too. Anything else? Just that spot, right? Um, it's not a main board issue that the, you know, the purple spot. It's not a main board issue. It's actually what the um, causing by the, the panel. Yeah, I mean, if I go farther, I can definitely see it. Yeah, that's it's gonna be bothersome. So I call Samsung, and they said, you know, they're gonna review the other ticket, and they probably add the other part, mm. which is expensive part. So they did not send me it until I confirmed the um, it was gotcha. caused by the, the panel. So okay, I just need your signature right. here. I like the, like, like the on the space. Yeah. Good, good. All my favorite things. Video games. Video games. Science. Awesome, awesome. The, the, the uh, R34. I like your ceiling the greatest too. car ever. I like the on the ceiling too. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Wow. Our right, dream so room. I'll see you on Monday. Hopefully. Cool. It's Friday, so. Alright, man. Thanks a lot. Alright. So, there you have it. The dude. Cut my TV with a box cutter exacto knife and then played it off like, oh, he just happened to find the cut there. I was completely fooled. The reason he cut the screen was because it voids the warranty. The mark that he saw in the middle was covered by the warranty. Who would have had to take the TV apart for a third time and replace the screen? He didn't feel like doing that, so he cut the TV, created physical damage, which then voided the warranty. And yeah, I would have been screwed out of thousands of dollars if I hadn't gotten this on video. Two weeks later. It is now December 4th. I have made a bunch of phone calls and sent a few emails. And here we are. I got my new TV. The service center sent two guys to... Take down my old one, put up the new one, unbox it and all that, and yeah, they took away the trash, everything. They didn't leave me with any mess to clean up. I also got a newer 2023 model over the 2022 model I had last year, and Samsung Corporation called me too. They, they let me know that a bunch of the higher-ups watched the video, and they were shocked and appalled and all that, and they also told me that the guy was fired, but they offered me nothing. I got the TV I should have had a year ago. I was kind of hoping they would offer me some little extra for everything I went through over a year, but I'm not gonna sit there and beg or demand. I got my TV, I got my room finally finished, and yeah, I'm good now. All right, so you saw the video of the guy doing that to my TV, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think of that guy? He's a dummy. So imagine he's like right there about to cut the TV. I will punch him in the eye. Do not cut my dad's TV. Bow. Fire shirt! Fire shirt! Bye-bye, our shirt. Bye-bye, bye-bye, our shirt. Fire shirt! Fire shirt! Bye-bye, bye-bye, our shirt. Bye-bye, bye-bye, Archer.